Duh. All right, y'all, how to draw oversized web. <laughs> well, how to draw oversized sweaters. Let's get it. Here's our model, say hello. So when you're thinking oversized, you want to think very loosely. Start from the shoulders, go outward, and then go make like a like a, like a a second arm pretty much right here. Come right here and make a huge, like a big, big fold because it's very, very loose. It's supposed to be really big on her. Kind of like a mountain chain. From here, follow the arm, right? Go off and then make a drape right here. Connect it at the bottom and then make a little one right here. You should get this look right here. Go to the thighs and like half it right here. Start right there, then make two bulges that come and connect right back to the top. Ew. Rise! And boom, you get that. Make two points where the waist is. Go up and then make some lines showing the arm crease. Now add the details. And boom, you got an oversized sweater. You can even add a hood, you know, just make a little thing over her eyes. Rise! Add a little nipple on top, you know. Add some more like bumpy folds on the side right here. And boom, you got an oversized hoodie, y'all. Look at my little knife. Alright, how about capes? Let's get it. Firstly, let's talk about how capes even work. Cape is like a giant, like a giant, like blanket pretty much. All we're doing is taking two points of this blanket and pushing them together. So here are two points right here. And let's turn that into a triangular shape. But all the folds are gonna come from these points, okay? Alright. You can go up and then under. And then up and then under. Put the points wherever you want them to be on the body. Bring them down but outward in a diagonal shape. Then up, then under, then up, then under, then up, then swoop it over here to connect. Then all the folds are gonna come from that one point. You know what I'm saying? Yay! Even for flowy cape like this, you know, swoop, 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 swoop. But you guys get the point pretty much. So now get your hero. Just drawing our points, you know. I like a collar. You feel me? Go off of those. Some bumps over here. Then a line. Swoop. Get the lines up the same direction. Wherever the cape goes is where the folds are gonna go to. And then just swoop it at the bottom. Go like this, and then connect it back. And yeah, I mean you got a cape, you know. Also, you know this character, y'all. I'm back. Yo, it's been so long, y'all. How you been, y'all? What's up? It's only been like a week, but you know, I decided to take a small little break from TikTok. You know, what I'm saying to celebrate my one million milestone. We are one million strong, and we still not verified. Woo! I'm not mad. I promise. I promise. I'm not salty. I don't really care. It's just whatever. Anyway, how to draw kissing people? So yeah. First, make a circle. Then one more right here. Make sure they're touching. You know what I'm saying? Then make a line that goes straight between them, diagonally. And boom, you get that. Now I'll make a circle at the bottom right here, okay? And this one is gonna be right in the middle, or vice versa, whichever one. Then split this in half, you know what I'm saying? Make sure it's diagonal toward this line. But again, do the same thing over here. From here, make a jaw line and it curves to this line. So wrap this one. Then go down to the bottom and do that right here. Make an arrow right here. <laughs> Draw your necks. Then make your nose like this. You know what I'm saying? For the bottom one. Do the shape right here. Then, and then boom. Moochie smoochie. Someone's in love.